Welcome back, everybody, to more 2001 Fermat paper. At the Grade 11 Multiple Choice Contest, we're on to question number three. So if you're looking for questions one or two, uh, you're going to have to look for the previous videos. So question three. In a school, 30 boys and 20 girls entered the Fermat competition. Hey, that's the competition that we're writing. That's a nice reference. Although I will say whenever I was doing these, uh, these competitions, there were never this many people. Uh, 30 boys and 20 girls, that's, that's got to be a big core, a very math inclined school. Okay, that's not unheard of. So we had 30 boys, 20 girls in the Fermat competition. Certificates were awarded to 10% of the boys and 20% of the girls. Of the students who participated, so of these 30 boys and 20 girls, so 50 overall, 30 plus 20. So of the students who participated, the percentage that received certificates was, okay. So we're, we're given a breakdown of the population into girls and boys, and we're told the rate at which girls and boys each uh, in their separate group earn certificates, and we're asked to sort of combine that and give an overall uh, percentage for the number of certificates, okay? So, we have all the information we actually need for this question. It just, uh, we need to go about and actually figure out, well, 10% of the 30 boys, well, how many boys actually got a certificate? 20% of the 20 girls, how many girls actually got a certificate? Once we know those hard numbers, we'll be able to add them up and make a percentage out of the total 50 students that wrote. Okay? So it's just a, a computation. We'll take a look here. So, so boys with certificates. Well, that's going to be 10% of 30. Okay. Well, happily to do a percentage of a number where we convert that percentage into a fraction. All percentages are out of ten, or out of a hundred percent. And then we treat the percent sort of like units, so the percents actually just cancel out. And we're left with ten out of a hundred, which, since both of them end in a zero, we can cancel that zero out as well. It's one tenth times 30, and 110 times 30, 1 over 10 times 30 is uh, 30 over 10, which is just 3. So 3 boys earn certificates. How about girls? Not girls, girls with an I. There we go. So girls with certificates. 20% of the total number of girls, which is 20 girls, okay? So once again, we're trying to do a percentage of a number. So we convert our percentage into a fraction. It's a 20% out of 100%. 100% is the most you can give. Don't let any football coach tell you otherwise. 100% is the best anything can do. All right, so 20% out of 100%, while the percents cancel out, we treat them as though they were centimeters or, or seconds or any other unit, and we're left with 20 out of 100, which is actually just the same as 2 out of 10, which is actually 1 fifth. So 1 fifth times 20, it's going to be 20 over 5, so that's just going to be 4. So three boys and four girls with certificates. So uh, if we wanted a nice little fraction, we would have three boys plus four girls uh, that's the number of students who have certificates out of 30 boys plus 20 girls, so that's 7 over 50. 
Now, we weren't asked for a fraction. We were asked for the percentage of students who received certificates. Okay? So we've got a fraction. We need to sort of reverse and turn that fraction into a percentage. Okay? So we bring back the 100%. So what percentage, well, what fraction of 100% earned a certificate? So that should be 70 over 50 times 100%. 100 and the 50, they're going to cancel out to be 7 times 2%, which is 14%. Hopefully, 14% was one of the possible answers. We're just going to check. Yep, it was answer A. Okay. So 14%, so our answer is going to be A. All right. So that was question three. We had to understand how to use uh, percentages, how to convert them into a fraction, and how to convert a fraction back to percentages. Okay. These should be basic things. I mean, these are the early questions on the 2001 format. But, you know, if you need a refresher, that's what I'm here for. Alright, so we're going to take a look at question number four in the next video, and I hope to see you guys then.